One reason why the games of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics are so difficult to pull off, it's because of mechanics and seldom used muscle groups involved in executing a move. Beth O'Donnell chronicles day one from Fairbanks. It's hard to believe that day one of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics has already come and gone. We saw many events in action today, like the toe kick, four-man carry, and the kneel jump. And like the toe kick, the practicality of the kneel jump stems from the quickness and control needed while out on ice during breakup. Athletes sit on the floor with their knees bent, then spring forward with distance being the goal. For the men, Kyle Worrell claims the top place jumping five feet and a quarter inch, while Amber Carpluck earns first for the women, marking four feet, five and three quarter inches. I do this weird thing where I count to five and then I explode up. And so it just makes sure I don't take too much time. And once I get to five, I know I need to spring down and explode forward. I look forward to this uh, event every year. It's my one of my strong events. So it's 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 a fun game. Aside from maintaining leg strength, War told me there's not a whole lot you can do to prepare for this event. It's simply practice makes perfect. From Fairbanks, Beth O'Donnell, Channel Two Sports. Back home now, and it has to be so soul-crushing to be out of a pennant race with three weeks to go in a season. But for the Chinooks and Glacier pilots, the summer remains a quest for personal growth. Hardly a stretch to say the Flyboys are hot, trying to win for the fifth time in six games. Fourth inning, pilots up a run. Joe Maroney having himself an evening. He goes two for three. The Kansas Jayhawk delivers Carson Kreitz. 4-2. The Chinook's Matthew Ferruto comes up large, singling home a pair of runs, part of a 3-for-5 night. This base hit knots it up 4-4 in the 7th. Bottom 7 now, Jack Laboski on third base, Cameron Comer up, and that'll do. The go-ahead run scores on the sacrifice fly. 5-4 pilots in a game with 7 combined errors. I mean, our pitchers have been doing a great job all year, uh, keeping the score low on the opponent's side. And, uh, you know, it's we felt that, you know, it's about time for us to start picking them up because uh, they've been doing such a good job the whole year. Now, the reason they're all out of it, well, the Miners improved to 23-7 and in league, demolishing the Oilers tonight, 17-1. to Brick Paskowitz and Chris Hall each drive in three. The Bucks take six of seven in Fairbanks, including today's doubleheader sweep of the Gold Panners, 4-1 and 8-5. A familiar face in a new place. UAA hockey fans giving Louis Mass a warm reception tonight. And we happen to catch the final 10 minutes of it. A native of Anchorage, Mass spent more than a decade aligned with the Aces, helping that franchise win three Kelly Cups, the last two as an assistant coach. He's leaving that post to join the college ranks as a member of Matt Thomas's staff. It's been nice to sit down and, and talk with people that are longtime supporters of this program. A lot of faces I've seen over the years and never had a chance to meet, but uh, people here feel passionate about this program, and uh, it's been some good years here over the years, and a lot of people have real fond memories, myself included. Alaska's all-time a hockey hero back in his hometown this week. Scotty Gomez hosting his ninth annual Celebrity Golf Tournament at AGC. Nice looking swing there, Scotty. Some will three-putt, some will birdie, but the real emphasis is fun. And last night, the Gomez Foundation helped uh, held its dinner and silent auction to raise money for youth hockey, a sign that this two-time Stanley Cup champion has not forgotten where he came from. Everyone's helped out, everyone's contributed, and that's... Uh, that's why it's uh, it's done well. I mean, uh, the the true praise goes to the people in town that realize that um, it's our job to get back and um, you know, help kids out. And if you missed any of our Wheel Games coverage from earlier today, uh, Beth O'Donnell filing really different reports for each newscast. So check KTUU.com for all our coverage there throughout the course of the day. It's all up there. Great. Thank you.